Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. And for today, I thought I would show you around my room a little bit since I just redid the whole thing. Um, I got new a new bed recently, a new desk. You can see I'm watching Pawn Stars back there. That's kind of my Twitch setup. Uh, yesterday I had to reconfigure it. You can see my new desk. It's L-shaped. It's perfect. <laughs> it fits right in the corner. It gives me a bunch of floor space. This chair that's here, uh, I'm actually going to get rid of that soon. I have a new chair that I'm going to order once my... Um, once I get paid, because I used all my tax money to pay rent and bills and things like that, and uh, and so that means I get to keep like my actual work checks. So uh, that's pretty cool, <laughs> at least for the next like week or two, or the next like check or two. So uh, I'm gonna just fix up my car a little bit. I need to get that fixed up. Um, the brakes are going out on it, and then once I get that fixed, I'm gonna get a new chair for in here, and it's a Spider-Man themed. Uh, chair with the reclines and has like a footrest which would be good for my leg so that'll be cool um, so yeah I got all this artwork you'll see the spider-verse um, giant poster there you'll see here uh, this is Ashley uh, Ashley Hoy she's um uh, she actually does the art for Neverland uh, my book that's coming out in August which by the way if you don't follow me on Facebook uh, follow me on there I, I updated today about Neverland stuff I will be doing a show in about two or three weeks uh, that'll me it'll just be basically be me talking about each chapter and leading up to the release of the first two books, which come out in August of this year. But the Kickstarter backers will probably get theirs in, in July. So uh, I have that. She she painted this Gwen Stacy for me, which is awesome. She did such a great job. Uh, and then I have Amazing uh, Fantasy 15. This is not obviously the original version. This came with Spider-Man 1. Like if you bought Spider-Man 1 in like a deluxe box, it came with that. It came with this drawing signed by John Romita Jr. Uh, and John Romita Sr., I believe. Uh, so father and son worked on that. Uh, then you got like this little letter here that came from Sony uh, and then this is a Spider-Man script of the first movie the one of the earlier drafts uh, signed by most of the cast and crew this is the script that had Dr. Octopus in the first movie um, and uh, I don't know how legit all the signatures are but this was a gift from a friend of mine from years ago back when Spider-Man 2 came out I believe uh, my friend Keith in Florida got me that so that was really awesome um, and then I have Superior Spider-Man and then I have a Tim Sale uh, Gwen Stacy picture back there from Spider-Man Blue. Uh, then those are just some frame comics. First appearance of the black costume in Secret Wars. Uh, that's just a True Believer dollar reprint. That's one of the first Spider-Man comics I read as a kid. It was a reprint of uh, the first time he had Amazing Spider-Man number one when he met the Fantastic Four. That's why I love the Fantastic Four so much. If anyone ever wants to know why I love those characters, that's the reason. Uh, those are the six cells that came from the uh, animated series. They were free inside certain comic books in the 90s right before the Clone Saga. So I was able to uh, pick up all six of those uh, Scarlet Spider poster my signed uh, certificate there of uh, the from the Writers Guild from my script that me and my friends wrote for Spider-Man 4 uh, so I have that on the wall Spider-Man drawing Spider-Verse drawing up there I think that's by Scotty Young it is yes so that's a big Scotty Young poster um, I got this cool like art deco poster there's my crutches that I use from time to time, uh, but not a lot. I'm trying, I'm getting better my leg and back. Uh, Web of Venom up there, got that framed. Uh, this Venom poster I actually just got at Golden Apple this week. It was supposed to be a different one. I saw one with Eddie Brock like in the symbiote wrapping away, like pulling away from him. And I was like, oh, can I have that? And they were like, uh, yeah, if we have one left. And we dug and dug through and we found a Venom poster. And we, I wasn't sure if it was the same one, but I was like, screw it, I'll buy it. And it turned out to be the cover to issue one from the, from the last run. So that's cool. And then I got this great Alex Ross Spider-Man poster from one of his uh, books that Dan Slott wrote and he did the cover for. I just, it had so many villains and characters on it I and they looked very retro and classic so I really wanted that. Uh, and then these are, I don't know how well you can see them, but these are like three shots from the first movie. Uh, like really nice photos from the first movie of Green Goblin, uh, Spider-Man up top, and uh, Mary Jane with Spider-Man there in the middle. Uh, then over here I have, this is actually from the set of the show Heroes. This was actually used on set. This is one of Isaac Mendez's paintings of the iconic Heroes, uh, you know, uh, uh, eclipse that they used for the like the logo of the show. So a friend of mine named Benny was really nice and was like, hey, uh, I got him like a signed comic by J. Scott Campbell in New York. And he was like, hey, I'll, I'll give you this as like a thank you. And it was incredible of him. So I have this and it's been a part of my collection for about <laughs> seven years now. Uh, and then underneath it, I have some cool uh, Transformer stuff that I just framed today. Uh, Generation 2, one of my favorite comics from Marvel in the 90s. Uh, and then I have some of the new IDW stuff. Some of the, these are from a couple years ago. I just like the covers. And I have a metal print there. I don't know how well you can see it by Livio Ramondelli. Uh, but it's like a really cool one from uh, the uh, Autocracy uh, comic book that he did. And then over here is like my toy shelf. Uh, and you'll see like the, the Joker Manor up here. You see a lot of Transformers. Uh, all my Spider-Man stuff's in the middle. I got Lego on the bottom. Uh, but yeah, I actually just picked up Venom and Carnage 
at Walmart. And uh, I made, I'll probably do a video where we open them, but for now they're just going to sit there in the box next to Scarlet Spider and Black Costume Spider-Man. So we'll get to those eventually. Um, and then this side is all a giant mirror. It's also my closet, so I can, you know, slide open any of those. And, uh, and then over here, I think I pass these up as just like my Halo stuff and then just like random other stuff. And then uh, on the bottom down here, we have my uh, signed Green Lantern battery by Ben Affleck. And then on the other side, Henry Cavill signed it. And then uh, Ezra Miller signed the Flash mask. And that's all my memorabilia from going to the, uh, the premiere of Justice League back when that came out, like in November or whatever. Uh, and then I have some artwork over here I haven't framed yet. Or I framed it, but I haven't hung it yet. I'm looking for space. Uh, but there's like Legion. There's a signed picture by, uh, um, by uh, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on his name, Hugh Jackman. Uh, I'm a huge Wolverine fan, and I love his interpretation of the character. So I was lucky enough to help out with some of the... Uh, um, uh, Days of Future Past movie and then also the Apocalypse movie uh, with intel and information to some of the designers about uh, the characters they were like working on and I was able to give them a lot of good feedback and a lot of insight on who the characters were and as a thank you gift they got me a signed picture from Hugh Jackman so I usually had that hung up but since I did a whole Spider-Man and Venom thing I'm gonna find some space for it uh, somewhere uh, but yeah so that's kind of my room uh, you'll see I actually downgraded my bed I used to have a queen size bed but now you'll see that I have my dog there, Echo, <laughs> and I have a Venom blanket on the bed. Um, and this is just like a twin XL bed. It was just something, it was memory foam, so I knew it would be good for my back, better than my old bed. And I found a good home for it. One of my neighbors was like, hey, I just moved in, I need a bed. And I was like, dude, you can have a queen size bed with a frame and a desk, like all for free. And he was like, oh, dude, thank you so much. So he was really happy and grateful. So that made my day, knowing I did something like that to, to help somebody else out. And then to clear up all the space, because before my room was a mess. Like I had to like walk over stuff. It was not good for my back and leg, like to try to maneuver everywhere. So now this, I just have like all this floor space and it's just great. <laughs> it's like plenty of room uh, for me uh, for sure. And, uh, and I don't have to do too much, at, you know, and, and I have a lot of room to stretch out on. So yeah, so this is kind of my room. For those of you who wanted to see like a little tour, I finally got it all done. It's all up. Like I said, a few more things I got to hang up, but not a big deal. And uh, and that way all this floor space is so uh, once my leg and back get better, I can get back to doing push-ups and stomach crunches and things like that. So I can try to keep to the goal of losing 20 pounds before the Venom movie comes out. And we're down to like, I think I'm down 11 pounds now, which is freaking feels so good <laughs> uh, and uh, but I'm gonna keep going like I still carry a lot of weight in like my like neck and face area um, so I'm trying to like you know work on that uh, I gotta cut back on the soda though I've been hitting it back hard recently uh, but I've been eating a little bit better you know from time to time so at least I'm balancing it out for that uh, but yeah so this is my room if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comments below and I'm trying yeah I'm trying to like glide a little bit easier and slide my foot so I don't like hobble when I like move the camera but I'm sorry if the camera work isn't very good. Ah, okay, I'm out of breath. I just finished like setting everything up so I can make this video for you guys. So thank you as always. I'm sure more Venom movie news will be coming soon. Uh, we're going to go through the rest of the Separation Anxiety trade paperback. I'm going to go through all that, like the Knights of Vengeance story, the Exile Returns, Introduce Scarlet Spider, and we're also going to talk about... Um, uh, the ending, the separation anxiety, and I'll mention the video game too. So we got a lot of Venom stuff coming up. We're working our way to 100. If anyone has an idea of what you want me to do for the 100th episode, let me know. I've already had some people say they want me to review the Spider-Man 3 movie, uh, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man 3 movie with Venom in it. So if you guys want me to do that, I can. Or, you know, I mean, we got so much other stuff to do. Like I got the Marvel vs. DC episode I'm going to do. If you want that to be episode 100, where Venom fights uh, Superman and Carnage fights Batman, let me know. I'll save that for 100. Like whatever it is you guys want, let me know down in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.